Marathon Pipeline recently began using unmanned aircraft systems, commonly known as drones, to enhance traditional methods of pipeline inspection and maintenance. Greg Aldrich was tapped to help pilot the program. His hobby, flying RC helicopters, prepared him for this unique role. As MPL explores the possibilities of UAS technology, the program continues to expand. The UAS program started out particularly with high water inspections. We might do that every day for 10 days or so. So let's say we have a pipeline that crosses a river or a creek that tends to get out and flood the bottom ground when there's a, a rainy season. In order to make sure that our pipe is in good condition, we were hiring a helicopter, which costs a considerable amount of money every day. By day's end, thought had kind of creeped into our minds that there's probably a, another way that we can do this. I uh, got with Greg, uh, knowing that he had a, a background with some control devices, and we made our first purchase and uh, flew the river uh, a few times. Uh, this flood stage ended up lasting 21 days, so there was a significant savings by using this in-house. Uh, from that, it's been kind of a grassroots type buildup of, of a program. There's been some excitement, some passion, and uh, I think at this point we're just scratching the surface. We started to realize that we could, uh, we could gather information that we didn't use to be able to, to find in simpler ways without having to, to put someone in danger or having to make them go through areas that could cause them hazards like ticks or uh, poison ivy such as that. So we could do some right away inspections uh, that would gather us that information without having to make someone walk across a muddy field or uh, cause rutting in, in a field full of crops, you know, corner beans. And that way the landowners could be happier with us. We don't have to interface with them about land damages. Uh, we can have a discussion about how we're going to use this tool to easier inspect our pipe without causing them any hassle at all. The Phantom 4 aircraft that we operate are really identical to ones that any one of us could go to uh, Best Buy or Walmart and it's the same aircraft. The difference is that the regulations require us to be licensed in order to do it commercially. We're required to get a Part 107 remote pilot license and it's really, it's kind of a tough test. There's a lot of things on there that as pipeline operators we just aren't used to. For example, weather charts and sectional charts that are, are totally out of the world of what we're normally looking at. So it's, it's, a, it's a tough test. Uh, I had to stay for a couple weeks in order to pass it. After you can complete that and have your license, we're not quite ready to fly for Marathon yet. So we go through a performance training that trains us on the particular aircraft that, that the pilot will, will be flying in order to make sure that they can follow the procedure properly and be able to fly it without crashing it. We use a pre-fight checklist to make sure that we're checking a certain set of things that tell us that aircraft is safe. Rather than just go out and fly without paying attention to the condition of the motors or certain settings in the app that, that helps us to control it, we need to make sure that everything is, is right so that we don't have a problem such as colliding with manned aircraft or flying over people. If we don't set things up properly, it could fly away on us and we could lose control. We also have a series of checklists to make sure that the aircraft is ready to fly and that conditions are okay for the pilot to fly in. You know, we don't always look for the advantage of what the drone program can provide us. We don't see the overall uh, benefits that it can give us, whether it's planning, whether it's forecasting, whether it's reacting to a situation, until you see that first picture. MPL leadership sees the value in the data that we're getting from UAS, and the end goal is to move from the cool stage to where this is integral to our daily operations. It's so vital to, to our safe operations and we can really use the data, it's integrated into our day-to-day -day business.